I think we've come a long way, uh, at least the time that I've been with UNHCR, but I think there's a lot more to be done. I think for internally we still need a lot of work to support our female colleagues in the field in particular, especially in more conservative societies, offices, countries. Um, but I think we also have uh, provided many more opportunities than ever before for women to really uh, express themselves and to ma make um, bigger contributions than ever before to the humanitarian work and to society. Uh, absolutely, I think we, I mean individually we all think differently, male or female, I don't want to generalize that way, but I think female, yes, I think we, we depending on our experience, we, we bring distinct uh, ways of looking at it and we have access to uh, our beneficiaries that are are different. Uh, most of the emergency operations that I've been, the large part of the refugees have been women, uh, women and children. And as such, in certain societies, certainly women have better access to them. And they're the ones who are really the driving force and the pivots of the family life in terms of the providing for the children, of uh, making sure certain things happen, security, food, water, um, health, and so on. I think it's crucial. It's crucial because, I mean, the world is changing. We have technology. We have new ways of doing things. We have environmental advances, uh, energy, alternative energies. And I think we should put all of this to good use to help uh, people to, 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 um, to find durable solutions or to stand on their own, to be self-reliant as much as possible. I mean, these are things that are, uh, that are accessible now, so we absolutely have to use them. We can't get stuck in the past. Um, I think where we need to work more is to include the beneficiaries a great, deal, a great deal more systematically than we do. We need to do a bit more than we are currently doing right now across the board.